And Dotton just backs away and slaps it over the top of extra cover for four. Almost a catch for the Scorchers, but it's four. Incredible power and hand speed genera generated by Deandra Dotton. Sin a line outside the off stump all day, actually, from both sides. And it's like you've got to recalibrate. And I tell you what, Dotton is calibrating her shots beautifully today. Another one over the offside for four. She's taking a liking to Peschel. Crunches it through. Much needed boundary for the Adelaide Strikers. And the unfamiliar role of being the anchor for Dotton is the fact that she seems to have gone into a shell a little bit. It's not her natural game. And I think she's probably just thought, no, nah, I've just got to go give myself a little bit of room here. Hoping that clear that front leg and belt it in between extra cover and mid-off. And down comes Dotton. One boundary is not enough. She's got two in two. And now they're accelerating right before the drinks break. Uh, use of footwork is, is a concerning sight, on, no doubt, for the uh, the Perth Scorchers. She's starting to feel like she's in. You can see her coming down the wicket now to access that ball and get it over the top, really blow this field out. And I think this is where Dot will be at her best. She's coming down again. Three boundaries in the over for Deandra Dotton. And this is that sea ball hit ball, and that's when she's batting at her best. Doesn't... No, nah. <laughs> I, I think I really like just the six overs up front, um, especially as a captain. It's nice to just have the last 14 overs play it out in your mind and how you want to defend or obviously attack. But uh, the surge is up and down. I think it's exciting for Big Bash cricket, but I think the way it is in international cricket is fine. Uh, how the opportunity. Well, there's the intention. Slaps it over the top for a maximum. Yeah, probably not that length. For, for Dot and she does have to get up and under the ball. Just clears that front leg and see how she hits off that, that back leg. Even though she's hit that nice and straight. But she's sort of hit, hit her straps now, 47 off 40. Well, Dot looking for a half century and she's got one with that boundary. Second of the season. And she is pushing the strikers towards victory here. Yeah, really well-timed innings from, from Deandra Dotton. She you know, was scratching around a little bit early, but uh, just see here, she just, again, rocks back onto that back foot. And she's going to keep targeting down ground. It's not a huge ground, Lilac Hill. And, and just whipping it around the corner. Chase is on for Edgar. She won't get there. And this power surge is proving costly for the Scorchers and vital for the Strikers. And once again, we see the batter just staying ahead of the game. Deandra Dotton's gone down the ground twice, this time an overcorrection from Piper Cleary and those fast, whippy hands of Deandra Dotton. Golden bat. Well, that's a full toss down the leg side. Deandra Dotton says, thank you very much. Yeah, Sophie Devine just searching for that Yorker. Just can't nail it. Just on leg side, full toss, too easy. Obviously no protection for that ball. And now, unloading and out. Alana King on the boundary. Unfortunately though, for the Perth Scorchers, it's too little, too late, because Dotton has already done the damage. Yeah, well bowled here by Sophie Devine. Just got in the right areas and good catch to hang on to as well. Alana King out at Cow. She doesn't drop too many. A little bit disappointing. I think uh, Dotton thought she'd got that. She was certainly looking to close out this game. And just puts it down the throat of King. Out for 68, though. Magnificent innings from her. And she certainly uh, should be very disappointed if the strikers can't take it home from here. Well, Alana King standing there at Cow Corner, as you said, Pricey, she didn't have to move. Oh, no. Wow, we're going there.